What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you don't know, I did an unboxing of Queen Studio Mark 7 life-size statue a couple of days ago. If you haven't watched that, go watch it before this. And today I'm going to be showing you all the detail of Mark 7 and also give my thought on it. All right guys, so this is my first ever life-size one-to-one statue, so I don't know what to expect of it. Uh, the biggest uh, statue that I have is a half-scale by Queen Studio as well, and life-size, it's just a whole another league, man. You know, so uh, let's get to it. So first of all, this is a plaque right here that I shown on the unboxing, but uh, you can see it, the Avengers Iron Man Mark 7 life-size statue. Platinum VIP member, and I got a custom name on it, Art Statue Collector, which is a nice gimmick. Very cool. All right, let's start with the base. I think uh, the base itself looks pretty elegant. Um, you know, it's not too much, and also it's pretty simple as well. So let's start with the front. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this is, this is um, like a sticker right here, where the Avengers are, and Mark 7, so that looks kind of cheap. But other than that, the design in the front looks pretty good. Moving down, you can see a little bit of stain around here that I tried to wipe with water, but it just won't come off. And also uh, this little scratch that I made while we tried to assemble him because, you know, it was just really heavy. Other than that, it's good. And it also lights up. If I turn it on like this, this is cool and it's powered by AC adapter. Yeah, nice. All right, let's start from the leg all the way up. I think, um, first of all, a lot of people think that uh, it's too matte, but in person, I think it's kind of matte, but it also has a little bit metallic in, into it. If you can see it through the camera, like the paint really look nice in person and also the gold, silver, those are great. Doesn't really jump out too much. All right, moving up. I think all the details are really nice. Like in the most parts, you can see the line is clean. Uh, some of the parts like this right here, uh, this is kind of bad. So um, maybe they could have just, you know, make it a little bit better. This is kind of sloppy. It's also on this side as well, if you can see. Okay, the back of the leg here. This is another part you have to, to assemble. Uh, the detail inside it is pretty good. Looks like real metallic, except um, this looks a little bit more plasticky to me. That could have been better. Look, like you can tell the difference. But. You're not going to be seeing it a lot since it's inside, same side over here. All right, now moving up to the back area, you can see the spine here and uh, the armor in the back. This is probably where it shines most in uh, Mark 7. Uh, you see the wings that flap open. Uh, these are four parts that you have to assemble. And you can see the details in the back that it looks pretty good as well on all four. I don't see anything wrong with it. All right, moving up to the shoulder parts, but uh, look at the, one of the flap. Uh, the details under here looks pretty good with all the armor opening up all the way to the shoulder. This is really cool right here. Nice. All right, and both arms are a separate piece that you have to connect. And uh, as far as detail and paints go, uh, it looks really good. I wish um, this part right here can actually, you know, have actually one of them open up with a, a weapon showing or something. Right here would be nice. Okay, and you can see uh, a little bit residue or, you know, some stain right here on the gold on the left arm. 
All right, and both hands do light up. And all you have to do is just take out this cover piece right here. And you see the compartment where you put the battery in, you just push it down and open it up. And you only need two AAA batteries in each hand to turn it on. And all you have to do is just turn it on like so. Then you can see the light. Very cool. Put this back in. Same on the other side. I'll just turn it on. There we go. Very nice. All right, and from the front, you can see uh, a lot of details. Really nice line go through everything. Uh, it really just pop out, especially where uh, the arc reactor is. This is just push it in and push it out, and it's got like some kind of hydraulic. And also uh, around here, they just kind of pad it up nicely. And you have to charge it with a USB. I did already, so we push it in. And then you are going to use the remote, which there's so many, uh, yeah. There's so many functions that you can use. One, turn off, turn on again. And you see it just slowly getting brighter turn off and now it's pulsing turn off turn on again this is probably my favorite and it's like powering up to the bright cool all right and now to the helmet part oh. okay here separate piece as well and also same thing, the compartment, you use two AAA batteries and then just turn it on. Put it back in. Done. That's to complete the Mark 7 and the paint and the details on the helmet is great. I like that, except uh, this little part inside here look, looks a bit plasticky as well but not a big deal. And you can see some uh, metal details around the collar. Very nice. Okay, and uh, the light-up function on the eyes here. I'm not sure if the eye is supposed to be uh, the, this yellow or it's supposed to be as white as the arc reactor and, you know, the, uh, their hands. All right, and uh, some of you might say, like from seeing the photos or whatever, that the paint is uh, kind of too matted, which is, it's actually correct in the Marvel movie. If you go back and check it, it's actually a matte finish. But um, in real life, I don't know if you can see it through the camera or not, but it actually has a metallic shine to it. It's not just all flat matte. So I really like it when I see this. All right, and uh, I have an extra piece right here, which has a magnet behind, and I have no idea where it goes. <laughs> and uh, there's no assembly pamphlet that tells me anything about this, but uh, I did ask Queen Studio, like what or where to put it, but I'm still waiting for them to get back to me. Okay, let's see the dimension of the base here. So you just, you know, kind of know like what to expect. Okay, um, it is about 105 centimeter, about 41 and a half inches uh, diameter around. So uh, yeah, it's gonna take up a whole lot of room. And as far as the height, sorry, I need this. <laughs> okay, let's check out Iron Man himself. Iron Man himself is about 195 centimeter or 77 inches. And add the base to it, it is about 210 centimeter tall. So that comes to about 83 inches. Yeah. And the weight, don't even ask me, it took about 
four of us to do this, but I think you need at least five to be uh, assured that you're not going to be damaging anything. All right, that's all the details and I kind of reveal everything already. So I'm gonna give you a conclusion. Uh, this is a $12,000 statue, so it is quite expensive. And you might ask, if, is it worth the money? Well, to me, 12,000 is a lot of money and there's still a lot of things that they could have improved or you know make it look better than it is. So it's still not quite, you know, worth the money i'm sorry but yeah uh maybe around eight thousand would do um i would like to see more metal like real metal parts in iron man instead of just all polystone you know like uh, from the wings or anything under here you know so that would actually make it a lot better all right that's another thing that you need to uh, know before you decide to buy this that the box is basically a queen size bed. You're gonna need a warehouse or you know a place to keep it. And that's just a big hassle by itself and it's very heavy. Also, you need five or six people to help you assemble this. You're not gonna be able to uh, you know carry this upstairs to the room or whatever. It's not gonna be worth it. So keep that in mind before you make your decision. All right, but it's not all bad. As you can see, it just bring the presence to the room and it's just gonna steal the show, man. Like having a life-size Iron Man just standing here, I mean, you can tell that it's awesome. <laughs> All right, so if you have the money, you have uh, a storage, you have people to help you out with, and you have money to spare, you know what? Get it, bro. I think you're gonna be happy with it. I am very happy to have it. Uh, I might consider be selling it in the future because I can only fit two life size in my gallery, which I have uh, order Ion Spider and Mark 85. So I'm gonna have to compare between all three to you know keep whatever which one I think is the best fitted for me. And the Thanos bus, I thought it was like awesome and you know bring a lot more presents until this life size Mark 7 gets here. Dude, you can just tell that it's just totally different, you know what I mean? All right guys, that's it for the review of Mark 7 Life Size Statue. I hope this video is helpful to you guys and uh, help you make your decision whether you're thinking about buying it or not. You can also come here and check it out yourself if you live in Bangkok. Um, I think Queen Studio is probably the best company that makes the movie statue. So I will continue to support them. 
All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any question, leave it down in the comment and I'll make sure I'll answer all of it. All right, peace.